Now with an ABC News investigation, an increasing number of cases of a mysterious rare condition are popping up and causing some people to become quite ill. Juju Chang joins us now with how cannabis is linked to the illness. Good morning, Juju. Good morning to you, Robin. You know, most people don't think of cannabis as making you violently ill, but some people develop this condition after consuming high concentrations of cannabinoids over long periods of time. And this rare illness is being reported far more often with the legalization of marijuana and higher potency and greater variety of cannabis products, from vaping to edibles. When Erica Hagler was 33, the otherwise healthy artist was struck down with a severe mystery illness. I felt like I was going to die. Shakes, elevated heart rate, completely dehydrated, and the vomiting was back to back to back. Erica was in the hospital for two weeks with no diagnosis. She says her doctors assumed she was suffering from a neurological or psychological disorder. They tested me for everything else underneath the sun. I actually had the doctor walk into my room and say, we are sending you home because we can't find anything wrong with you. Soon after, Erica, who says she was using cannabis multiple times a day, learned about CHS, cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome, which affects people who use high doses of marijuana daily over an extended period of time. How did you get the diagnosis? I diagnosed myself, then I went back to my doctor and I said, this is what I think I have. And then he said, oh, you know what? That sounds right. I've heard of this. CHS is a rare condition that causes bouts of vomiting and abdominal pain. One Canadian study found that CHS-related ER visits there increased 13-fold from 2014 to 2021. One challenge we have is that patients sometimes believe that their use of marijuana is helping them. We know that in patients with cancer, marijuana actually reduces nausea and vomiting. So for many patients, Understanding that for them, this is a poison is a tough pill to swallow. Because of that misperception and the lack of tests for diagnosis, Dr. Sam Torbati says that CHS is often overlooked or misdiagnosed. We give patients IVs to hydrate them. We do basic testing just to make sure their kidneys aren't failing, that their electrolytes are not very disturbed. But really to cure them of this, condition, they need to stop smoking. Erica, now five years cannabis-free, started a CHS Recovery Facebook group to help others. And they get lots and lots of support. The group now has more than 20,000 members. I don't want anyone to go through what I went through. If I can stop anyone to maybe consider moderating or just being careful or even knowing that this exists so that they can help themselves, that's really the ultimate goal. Now, experts believe CHS is caused by overstimulated receptors in the body that can bind with cannabinoids, which can then trigger the nausea and severe vomiting. It creates basically a poisonous reaction in some people. It's reported that scalding hot showers or a heating pad may temporarily relieve symptoms, but really stopping marijuana use is the most successful way to manage the condition. So if you believe you're suffering from CHS, be sure to seek medical attention. And I'll have much more tonight, Robin, on this story, including one much of the there's urgent warning after the unthinkable happened. Yeah, we'll That's see tonight you, on Nightline. We'll see you then on, on Nightline. Thank you so much, Juju, for coming in early this morning for mm -hmm. us. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.